There it is. Go on and take it. <laughs> That's what I told the people of Los Angeles at the dedication of the great aqueduct when the first waters of the Owens Valley spilled <coughs> into the thirsty city. <laughs> oh, and take it they did too. Now a lot of people didn't like the way we got that water. Least of all those Owens Valley ranchers. But Los Angeles was a growing city and it, it needed H2O and it, it was my job to find it. <laughs> Bill Mulholland is my name. Chief Engineer of the Los Angeles Bureau of Water Works and Supply. But you folks can just call me Chief like everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> or did. You know, that aqueduct made me one of the most honored men in Los Angeles. And a water engineer with an international reputation. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? For a immigrant ditch digger with almost none of what you'd call a formal education. But that, that city of Los Angeles just kept growing and growing and demanding more and more water. And we needed to find some way to store it as far away from those hopping mad Owens Valley ranchers as possible. Those people, they kept trying to blow holes in my aqueduct. So we built a a dam in the San Francisco Canyon, right above Castaic. We built a high concrete arch dam called the St. Francis. Stored a full year's supply of water for the city, too. <laughs> and it was all done and full by March of 28. Then, early in the morning, on March 12th, my, my office gets a phone call from the dam keeper, Tony Harnishfeger. A good man, that Tony. He said that he had seen dirty water leaking from under the west side of the dam. So Van and I, that'd be Harvey Van Norman, my assistant, we drove up from the city to have a look. Now, we'd had little leaks in the dam before, but, but, but none of them caused any trouble in and this one, it, it didn't look any different. And so, Van and I headed back to the city. That'd be the last time I ever saw Tony alive. That night, just near midnight, the lights in Los Angeles flickered. A and St. Francis gave away. It it unleashed a wall of water. It must have been over a hundred feet high. And it swept away Tony and his young son and everything else in its path all the way to the sea. And along with it went my sterling reputation. Why did that damn fail? I don't know. The, the governor's commission, they, they blamed it on that leak that Van and I had checked that morning. <laughs> I never believe that. I, hell, I never bought it. <laughs> hell, all damn leaks! And the St. Francis was the driest dam of its size I'd ever seen. But, but the city, they made things right for the people of the Santa Clara Valley. They paid off every claim. They rebuilt every farm, every house. Couldn't bring back the dead, though. There were over 400 of those. If you're going to say that there was an error in human judgment, 
I'm that human. I won't try and fasten it onto anybody else. So much tragedy. All in the name of progress. But I, I took my medicine like a man. I resigned as chief engineer. And I retired to my ranch in the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> <laughs> no one wanted to know Bill Mulholland after that. Except for Van, of course. Van was always like a son to me. You know, many of the dead are buried right here in Santa Paula. Cemetery. Just down the road. I come by now and then to pay my respects. You know, the dead, they're the only ones I envy in this whole thing. But I'm haunted by the ones they never found. Why, why did that dam fail? It, it must have been something I missed. It's something. It's something.